Hey friends, welcome to episode number 46. We are still here on Route 15 looking for Earthquake. I did take a quick minute and switched out two of our Pokemon for Altaria and our Shiny Exodrill, mainly because we're going to need strength for part of this route, and I didn't want to delete another move again, so I figured let's just bring Excadrill, and then we can teach him strength, which I did. So, oh, and I meant to use a Repel. I even went through and sorted the bag as I was doing that, and I totally forgot to use the Repel, so... I think we've all been there before where you go to do something and then you do something totally different. Um, let's try for superpower. That's probably where I was going to use the PP Max on. Because five power points doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't feel like a lot. Hopefully this will be a one-hit knockout. It is. Good. That'll save us the time of having to use some potions. But I think I probably do want to use that PP Max that we got. Um, and I always forget to use the, the PP ups and the PP maxes. So, okay, let's do Hyper Potion. Oh. Super Repel. That's what I'm here for. So I put these in the uh, the special case. I figured I'll use it as like a... Cause I'm, honestly, I'm not going to take the time to sort all the stuff I don't want into here. So instead I sorted the stuff that I probably will use at some point into there. Um, so we did the Super Potion. And then also I got to find PP Max. The only one of these. There's probably only a couple in the entire game. Um, all right, so thinking through, most of our moves, most of our, like, our main attacking moves have a decent amount of power points. I think Super Power is the only one. Yeah, Nim should have a pretty good power point total. And, yep, okay, let's use it on Basa. That way we'll have eight Super Powers instead of, instead of, uh, five. We probably have some PP-ups, too, that I forget to use all the time. Yeah, I have seven of them, wow. Um... Let's use them on Ultons. Superpower, maybe. And then... What about Stone Edge? Oh, we don't have Stone Edge yet. Okay, let's save that for Stone Edge, too, because... I think Stone Edge has five power points. It might have ten. I think it's five. Okay, we did use the Repel, so we should be in good shape now. So I did see on the wiki that you need strength in order to get um, Earthquake. Oh, another little puzzle here. Let's go put one just in the middle of this route. Down you go. And tall grass, you can do some double battles. And an ultra ball. Always look where the grass is not. Cause that's sort of, and it sort of makes sense too that you know grass wouldn't grow in an area where um, where there was an item. All right, so this is a little bit tricky. It's tempting to push it down one more, but if you do, there's no way to push it to the right. So you gotta be patient and do that. And then you can also push it one more to the right now, but then you can't push it down. So a cute little puzzle there. It requires some foresight, not just going in blindly. And there it is, Earthquake. Okay, that's what we were waiting for. We're gonna use this a lot. Let's go ahead and do that right now, in fact. Because Earthquake is arguably the best ground type attack. Certainly a very strong and very common one. And all of our Pokemon currently with us can learn it. Um, now, Flo is a special attacker, so Flo will not. But honestly, the other five, I might as well teach it to them. Um, the two in the PC, Nim and um, Asper, cannot learn it. But that was intentional. So Head Smash is a really good, really fun move. Uh, maybe we'll use it one more time just for fun. And then I'll teach Earthquake. Earthquake just has a little better coverage than... Um, than Head Smash does. Plus no recoil, better accuracy. It is less damage, but normally when you're using a coverage move, it's because it's super effective anyway. Um, so damage is not the biggest concern. All right. Um, so let's get rid of Shadow Claw. Oh, no, let's get rid of Dig. Because Earthquake is basically a better Dig. We will get rid of Shadow Claw as well, but we'll wait until we get to level 66 and learn Outrage. That'll be good, because level 66 is also the level where we face our next major opponent. So... That will work out well. And we can also get rid of Dig for Russ. Um, Ground and Rock are super effective against a lot of different Pokemon, and there are only a handful of Pokemon that resist both of them. So if you have a Rock type or Ground type stab attack, having um, the other type as coverage, it works really well. And obviously, if you have Rock and Ground type, like um, Rhyperior, Golem, or Onix, that can be a really good combination for double stab. But Rock is not the best defensive type, 
Um, so Rock and Ground has obviously a lot of weaknesses, including two double weaknesses. I'm going to get rid of Flamethrower, even though it's also a pretty cool move. Um, Earthquake is a little stronger, and Altaria has a higher attack stat, at least ours does. Plus it can benefit from Dragon Dance. We probably won't use Altaria too much in battle. It's mainly there for Fly. Um, it's not part of the team, it's just kind of there, you know, for a second to uh, use Fly when we need to finish this route and move on to elsewhere. But it's good to have good moves just in case. And we'll get rid of Own Claws because being low level, we probably won't have a chance to power up our moves and then um, attack as well. All right, that was everybody except Vasa, I think. So let's keep going. We'll see if we can use Head Smash against this trainer, or at least her Pokemon. I'm planning on transferring a Pokemon using the Poke Transfer, but before I do, a Pokemon battle. Cool, cool. They did train a Rhyperior um, in Pokemon Black, and that was cool because they got to use you know Stone Edge and Earthquake, which is a really good offensive combination. And at least Rhyperior has pretty good defenses to kind of help with those weaknesses. You just gotta be careful. All right, so she had a few Pokemon, right? Yeah, she has three. So let's start with a Flare Blitz against Meowth. And Meowth is faster, okay. Didn't realize Meowth was that fast. Luckily, Assurance is a dark type attack and so it is not very effective because we are part fighting type. Again, though, it'd be cool if she had a Persian and not a Meowth. That would make things a little more interesting. We did more to ourselves in Recoil, honestly. Uh, she seems to like Cat Pokemon. Again, Super Power is super effective, but actually, let's use. It'll be a little risky here. Let's use Wild Charge. Because again, I feel like it'll still be a knockout, and we'll probably do more damage in Recoil than Glammeow would do to us. That's really funny. I would have thought Glammeow would be faster than Meowth. Because I think Perugly is actually fairly fast. And Lightpard, a fully evolved cat this time. Could use Super Power, but for fun, let's use Head Smash. One last time. Light part is very fast, using Nasty Plot to increase its special attack stat, but... Oh, it dodged it. Oh, no. All right, let's try again. And Nasty Plot. So that would have been the turn to maybe go for a, a nice, powerful attack. Getting very greedy there. Going to pay for it. One more time, Bossa. Head Smash. That's a lot of damage, even though it's not super effective and doesn't get stab. And a crit. That's, that's perfect. Ending on a high note. It is a lot of recoil damage, though, so we'll have to use a potion after this. Phew, I should just transfer my Pokemon after all. Oh, her poor Pokemon. Maybe she's trading in for some dog Pokemon, some uh, Growliths and Houndours. All right, now we're going to use Earthquake, and we'll also use a potion. And then we'll see if there are any more trainers on this route. Goodbye, Head Smash. It has been fun. But at last, Basa has its final set, and now our Expert Belt is going to be really useful, because... We are super effective against like 77% of Pokemon, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and I do want to use a potion just in case there's any more trainers to face. Hyper potion. Maybe I should move them to the, uh, the special pocket as well, but I feel like if the special pocket gets too crowded, then it stops being special, right? Especially because, no pun intended, um, it seems like I can only use... Oh, I guess we're just here again. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the Transfer Lab, that's just how you transfer Pokemon from previous gens, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I have a big recollection of using it recently, but we will go to Black City. Uh, no, no more repels needed now that we're in the city. Um, what was I saying about Super Effective something? Totally lost my train of thought there. Hmm. Alright, so Black City and White Forest are uh, interesting locations because they only exist in Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, you know, as the name implies. Um, so like if we were playing White or White 2, we would have the White Forest instead of the Black City. It's also really weird because it's like zoomed out extra far. That's kind of interesting. Um, and I think like the longer you play the game or the more you do something, the more buildings, like grow or appear. I guess it's trees in the forest or buildings here. And the more you can go into to do stuff or to get stuff, I'm not really quite sure how it works. Um, kind of an ominous city with all these just big, glassy, modernist skyscrapers. Um, there is this little building here. Let's check that out. But I think the main place to be is the Black Tower. Let's 
So we'll check that out. Maybe not today. I do want to see what this building is, though. It's like the town hall or a bank or something. What is this place? Maybe it's just like a generic building. Strength is a measure of worth. Wow. A lot of people here talking about money, but I guess it is a city, so it's kind of where you go to make money. All right. Or whoever was writing this area just was like really thinking about their upcoming pay raise and it was on their brain. Um, all right, so this is the Black Tower over here, clearly. But we will not head in there quite yet. Um, and I think we kind of already did the route east of here, if I recall. Or northeast of here. I think it was just like this entrance was blocked the last time we were here. Okay, we could use Waterfall now, but I don't actually have anybody with Waterfall. Yeah, okay, so we actually faced this guy already. All right, cool. Well, that's why I brought Altaria, so now we can fly to the next location. So, let's go ahead. I keep going to Rust because I'm used to Rust having fly. All right, I think what we're gonna do next is, there's a few areas left to do. We did Route 15. Um, there's still, what is this area? Oh, this is the town you get to by train. Okay. Um, there's still Twist Mountain, which is sort of south of Icarus City, which I think we'll head back to now. And there's also all this stuff over here, which we'll get to shortly. I think that's probably then about it. I see that's it, as if it's not like a ton more than most games have. Not quite as much as Heart Gold and Soul Silver. They'll always be the MVPs. But, um, although honestly, because Kanto's kind of like descaled at that point, it might be. It feels like more in Kanto, I'll say that. And the Seti Islands weren't bad either. Um, all right, so I do want to see if, you know what, let's keep, let's keep uh, Excadrill with us because we might need like strength for Twist Mountain. We might also need Flash. Um, so I might want to just like search this on my phone real quick. Probably should have done this ahead of time, didn't think of it, so apologies for that. Because if we need Flash, I might want to bring a different Pokemon here. Let's bring Nim because he could use some XP. Uh, we might need Surf. And. Okay, do we need Flash? Do, 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 do. Doesn't say anything about needing Flash. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to assume we don't need Flash. I will bring. Saw's Buck regardless, though. And we'll keep Excadrill in case we need strength. And hopefully we don't need Flash. Although I guess if we did, we could just re replace Earthquake on Bossa and then switch back again. Because Bossa could learn Flash, right? I don't remember now. I feel like... Or no, I was surprised they couldn't. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll deal with that if we have to. Cross that bridge if we get to it, as they say. All right, here we are, Twist Mountain, and our first battle, or not. Uh, sure, I like trucks. Okay. The truck quiz. Oh, this is going to be hard, because it's like... Okay. Which place is famous for an old rusty crane truck? Oh, I don't know. Um, I want to say Driftville, because they have, like, don't they have, like, mining there, or am I thinking of something else? Andela, I think, is the beach, and it seems like like, water. Could be Veer Bank. Let's go with Drifel. Ah, uh, I was on the right truck. Do you see I'm on the right truck? Oh, I gotta try again tomorrow. All right, what are the prizes? Hopefully it's not um, Stone Edge, because that's how we're really here. Is one to face some fun trainers and get some XP, but really to get Stone Edge. And I'll use a um, I'll use a repel after let's say three Pokemon battles in the wild, just to see what's here. A Woobat. Okay, high level Woobat. Interesting. Not good for us because that is not. Um, not oh I didn't actually heal hmm oh well we'll just go for it um so this would be good to have head smash but as you can see we also have wild charge so we don't really need head smash and again while head smash has a much higher base power 150 I'm not a big fan of the 8% accuracy or the half health recoil I'd rather take the 100% accuracy and the quarter health recoil of wild charge plus electric is good against water too whereas rock is not so pros and cons but oh is this Still blocked? 
Do you have to do the truck quiz to open the cave? I hope not. I thought we just had to beat the Pokemon League to go into this area. I didn't realize there might be more to it. Hmm. It's very annoying if the truck quiz has anything to do with this. I, don't, I feel like it doesn't. That feels weird. It feels more like that should be an item they give you. But if it uh, is the quiz, we'll have to come back and try this tomorrow and do something else in the meantime. Alright, two Woo Bat. Not a lot of XP from that. Hopefully, our third encounter will be something more interesting. Okay, at least there does seem to be some sort of cave system here. Oh no, this is the way out. Okay, well, there's an item. Oh, a nurse. Cool. Oh, that's right. I think Twist Mountain is actually like a mountain and a cave. So, maybe... Maybe the area with the comb was just like the area from black and white that's now blocked off. Oh, let's see, that's cool. Let's see, it's a very strong Pokemon. Very tanky, very high stats. Luckily, we have a fighting type up, so this should be no problem. Let's see, it's one of those quasi legendaries I talked about. What I call quasi legendaries, I made that up. Uh, basically, any Pokemon with a base stat total of 90, or base stat total of 540, which would be an average of 90. So, Blissey. Uh, Magmortar, Electabuzz, Melodic, Gyarados, Snorlax, Kingdra, Haxorus. There's like 10 of them or so. And then there are a few like Togekiss, Arcanine, Florges, which um, are a little bit stronger even, so I don't really count them, but they're kind of honorable mentions, I suppose. All right, let's stay outside for a bit. Enjoy the nice, crisp weather. Uh, or maybe I can't. Maybe I have to go... Oh, Flash Can, that's a good move. Maybe I have to go back in again to get to the different parts of the outside. Alright, so I want to do this methodically so we don't miss any areas. So, we came out of the North Cave here. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's just go left. We'll just keep going left. Oh, this seems to be a dead end. So, if you jump down those hedges, ledges, I always say hedges. That's where you end up. Oh, we can walk up here. Oh, so you can walk up this way. Okay. Red shard. We'll come back and face that miner in a bit. But let's face this guy first. Whiteness of snow hides impurities, and blackness of nights conceals worries. Oh, okay. He's not going to fight us. Just tell us uh, interesting quotes. This place is very maze-like. They like their maze-like places in this game. Makes it fun, though. Oh, this is, uh, what's his name? Uno. This is, um, I think Marshall from the Pokemon League. Oh, I see. So you travel all around like this and toughen yourself up then. Well, I suppose you have many battles ahead of you. Pokemon battles is a Pokemon trainer. Battles about how you should live your life. You'll lose sometimes, but I think what matters is that you do things your own way. If you surpass what you've done before, you have bested yourself. Well, then I'll be waiting for you for your challenge at the Pokemon League. Hmm, hopefully, I didn't actually look up whether the Pokemon League is automatically leveled up or not. Hopefully, like, talking to him isn't what makes them level up. Because if so, it would have been nice to train against them. Then again, I suppose there's a lot of cool trainers to face and level up against in the meantime. Although, I don't know. There are some very strong trainers as well. Have we been here before? I feel like we've been here before, but I guess not. I love raised walkways. I must be thinking of that other route with raised walkways outside, like, Dragon Spiral Tower. So I did train there for a long time, training up um, Alder. Not Alder, Alton. A level 38, hmm. So maybe you can access this route earlier in the game? I don't know. I do not know. So Boltway, I think, has Levitate as an ability. At least Claydol does. So we'll just use Flare Blitz. Take a little recoil there. But hey. Just enough XP. Alright, let's um Let's bring Altaria to the front. I th oh, we don't have Altaria. Huh, never mind. Okay. Let's not do that then. Um Alright, this might be an easy battle, but we'll do it. So again, this must be another route that we could have done earlier in the game, but just didn't try. So we'll do a little bit of it now, but um, I'll move on to bigger and brighter things soon. 
Oh, that's cool. We get to use Excadrill. I like that. Okay. So let's use, um, let's do this. Let's switch into Russ. And then we can use Earthquake. Oh, it's not the real Excadrill. All right, it's Nim. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been fun. All right, let's use uh, Superpower. And. Yeah, let's do that. And Dark Pulse. I'm definitely overthinking this for a very easy battle. Okay, we'll do more scouting on this route and then we'll go back to Twist Mountain because there's still a lot to do and see there. 64. Night Days! There it is, our signature move. So, Dark Pulse is definitely a cool move. Base 80 power has a 20% flinch chance. Completely accurate. But I think I want to go with Night Days because even though it's 5% less accurate, it does 5 more damage or 5 more base points of damage. And it has a 40% chance of lowering accuracy. So I feel like it's probably a little better than Dark Pulse. And it's a unique move. We'll never have another chance to use this again unless I train another Zora work. So let's give up Dark Pulse. Um, actually, let's give up Attract, I guess? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to give up Dark Pulse because then I don't have to worry about reordering the moves. Only reason. This will be the first time I've ever used Night Days. We'll see that in a second. Honestly, Excadrill could be a pretty good disguise as well, because um, you're not going to use like a bug attack against Excadrill. You're not going to use Psychic, probably, because it's resistant to it. Actually, Psychic would be fine to use. Um, what are our weaknesses? Fighting. I guess you would use Fighting, so maybe not the best disguise. Oh, is this Yancy again? She just called off screen, by the way. Oh, it's Mom. Okay, that's better. Route 7, that's amazing. Because of your Pokemon, be grateful to them. Take them to Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center. Oh, she's a Pokemon Center receptionist. That's cool. That guy's doing his little spins there. What is this place? Oh, a revive. Yeah, I checked that. Oh, another rest stop. Hmm, kind of weird to have a rest stop here and at the mountain, but okay. I'll let you guys like turn this on slow mode and read that if you really want to, but she's talking about Thunderous, another Pokemon we probably won't encounter in this Let's Play. Oh, Pokemon. Or, uh, person. Ha, they tricked me. Um, I wasn't really sure what this was, but I figured I would click on it and see. Dyromaka. I should switch out. Let me... Here's what I'll do. I'm going to switch out to um, Excadrill to the front of the team, and then we'll do a few more battles here before we head back into the mountain. But first, Earthquake. Also, Darumaka reminds me of something. Um, so one thing that I've always thought is really weird is the fact that they gave Drayden and Iris almost the same Pokemon. It kind of makes them, like... I don't know, like, they're very distinct characters, but, like, it just annoys me that they have, like, almost the exact same Pokemon teams. In fact, I think it is, like, the exact same team. Um, in black and white, so there's not really a big difference. Oh, I forgot to switch. Um, depending on what game you have. And I'll use a repel as well. Cup shoe, that's interesting. So, uh, I was thinking about how I would have done it differently. And it's also, it's especially weird in these games where you face Drayden and her. And they have different teams, obviously, as we saw. But they have, like, the same signature Pokemon, which is really weird for the champion to have the same signature Pokemon. So, I think what I would have done, I would have made Drayden a fire-type trainer... And given him um, Darmanitan as his best Pokemon. Because Darmanitan is a really cool Pokemon that you don't see very often. You also could have given it to Alder. But um, alternately, I think it would have been really cool for him to have that as his best Pokemon. Because they're both you know, strong Pokemon. They're both um, base 540 stat totals. What am I doing? Super Repel and switching out Pokemon. And then he would have had a totally different team, and it would have been a totally different experience for the 8th gym, depending on which which one you faced. Okay, this is Dragon Spiral Tower, right? Celestial Tower, the other one, okay. That's what I was thinking of, though. So I think we've actually faced a bunch of these trainers. Yeah. I missed that preschooler somehow, though. Alright, so we've been here. Let's head back over. And then we'll... I could heal there. I'll just heal me get back to the nurse, though. Have we face this guy then? Maybe we could face him with our Excadrill. We have not. Oh, yes, okay. The music like paused for a second, so I was confused. Harlequin Pat and his Baltoid. 
Hmm, okay, maybe not the best Pokemon, because it's actually one of the few that's... I was talking about how there are a few Pokemon that resist both rock and ground. Uh, they are one of the few because they have Levitate, so we'll have to use Strength. But hey, it's good we have it. I replaced uh, Slash, because Strength is better than Slash in power, even though it has less chance for... Um, less chance for a crit. But I'd rather take the guaranteed 10 more power. Alright. I don't really like to rely on crits, because like they're a low chance thing of happening. I'd rather rely on the sure thing. Although, I'm going to train Absalom a probably Platinum. That's going to have like all crit moves and super luck. That'll be fun. I didn't might even know x -Scissor. For a fun coincidence. That could have been a good move to have. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I used it for. We have repels, so... Alright. We checked out this little route here. Did we face this guy already? I think we did, but I don't really remember. Yes, we did. Okay. I'm more doing this for fun because we do have the repel going. All right, well, that was interesting. I guess maybe this area was blocked before. I don't remember, or we just didn't come this far. One of the two. Probably just didn't come this far. But there had to be something stopping us because... Well, I don't know. I was going to say the Pokemon... In, well, yeah, there's got to be something because otherwise we just keep going to the part of the cave that has strong Pokemon. Okay, we'll keep going left once we grab this float stone. That makes Pokemon lighter, I think. Not really sure. We should probably switch back out to one of our stronger Pokemon. Uh, let's bring Russ out now. Maybe we'll do Aspirin next since we'll probably fight a lot of rock and ground Pokemon here. Oh, let's grab this. Up, oh, it's a Pokemon. I think I read there's like a 40% chance of encountering a wild Pokemon in these dust clouds, 50% chance of getting an, a regular item, and 10% chance of getting like a, a stone maybe? Or a, I don't, I don't know. And hey, this is why we have Earthquake. This is the perfect time to use it against an Excadrill who resists both of our stab attacks. Super effective, coming off of a very high attack stat. Oh, I also want to check and see if Russ or um, Alton... Is Alton with us or is he in the PC? He's in the PC, ah. He's the one in the PC. Okay, well, the comparison will just have to wait. Because I know that Archaeops and Haxorus both have like incredibly high attack stats. It's kind of like their thing. So it'd be interesting to know which one actually has the higher attack stat on the team. Like a lot of Pokemon have high attack stats. Um, Basa and uh, Asper as well, but they're more like normal high attack stats. All right, uh, Rog and Rolla, let's U-turn. Because it probably has Sturdy. So we'll have to use two attacks regardless. And now we can bring in Asper and use him for a bit. Explosion, interesting. Maybe we should have stayed in then, because Rock would have resisted it. But I think we can probably take the explosion. If it was a fully evolved Gigalith, maybe not. But Rock and Rolla, yeah. Now that did hurt, but facing a Graveler, this is the perfect opportunity to use Horn Leech, get some HP back. And we'll hope the Graveler doesn't have Sturdy. Sturdy was such a good addition to these Pokemon, though. It makes them so much stronger than they were. Because, like, in the original games, it was just so easy to defeat, like, an Onix or a Graveler. I'd say we're a Golem, but I don't think Golem was actually in, like, red, blue, and yellow. Maybe yellow. Um, I'll use Return just to save power points. It's one of those few Pokemon that is, like, conspicu conspicuously missing. Maybe... Maybe the only one? There's gotta be more. But, I mean, you can have a golem, but you can actually face a golem in the games. All right, so interesting. I could go for a jump kick, which is super effective, or I could go for a horn leech and get some health back. Let's go for jump kick, because I don't think horn leech would be a knockout jump kick. It is a high level, so maybe I should go for horn leech. Nope, I made the right choice. Okay. See, never doubt yourself, kids. Down goes Excadrill. That was fun. All right, we'll keep going left. The tricky part is that stops working if you end up going in loops. This guy seems like an expert, so this could be a tough battle. Okay, I will show you the results of my daily workouts. Or veteran, whatever they call them in this one. Veteran, yeah. Veteran Carter, good name for veteran. Oh, triple battle, fun. 
And three very strong Pokemon. I like this. And level 69, too. Very nice. Tauros, Excadrill. Now, this is, I think... Is that Nimmin Disguise? I think the level is also disguised, which makes sense. I think it is, but we'll, we'll find out in a second. Okay, let's do... Okay, let's go with Rock Slide, because it's super effective on Crobat, and it could flinch either one of the two of them. Although, Crobat, I think, has Inner Focus, so it actually couldn't flinch Tauros, but it could flinch... I'm sorry, it couldn't flinch Crobat, but it could flinch Tauros. And yes, this is Nim. Or is... Is Bossa Nim? I guess Boss is actually Nim. Interesting. And we'll use... Um... All right, let's use our new Night Days. And then... Oh, it's the real Excadrill. Bossa is the imposter. Interesting, okay. Uh, let's use Rock Tomb to slow down Crobat and maybe finish it off. Aqua Jet. It's not Shell Smash, so I'll take it. Oh, this could be a lot of damage. In fact, probably a knockout. Yeah, sorry, Skadrill, and a crit too, just to rub it in. Okay, and Acrobatics. This is not good at all. Acrobatics is a... Uh... Oh! <laughs> Even I get tricked by the illusion. My brain my brain just sees Bossa and is used to seeing, you know, Bossa. Uh, all right, luckily we did a critical hit on Tauros. That's nice. So luckily this was not the real Bossa who would have died to Acrobatics. Or fainted, I should say. And Earthquake will unfortunately take out Nim. But not after we did a lot of damage. Okay, so. All that in one turn. Um, but we do still have some good Pokemon left in the wings. Okay, so let's bring out... Um, don't want to bring out Boss while Crobat's on the field. Why can't Asper be switched out? Oh. Yeah, something is really weird with the programming there. I don't... I mean, it works, thankfully, but I feel like there's something weird where you need to, like, switch them to a different spot before you can bring them in. I don't I don't really get that. If somebody gets that, please explain it to me in the comments. All right, I could use Acrobatics for the guaranteed knockout. But I'm going to be a little risky here, I think. And use Rock Slide. 90% chance of, of hitting. Plus, we'll be getting Stone Edge very soon, so let's use Rock Slide while we can. It's the perfect time to use it in a triple battle. Um, let's use Earth Power against Tauros to finish off Tauros. And we'll use Horn Leech against Karakasta. Right, Acrobat is very fast. I think I might actually do a... Um, I might do like a Let's Play through like Crystal on like the Virtual Console. That could be really fun. Um, and train a Crobat, because I planned out a team for that a long time ago, just for fun, and it, it, playing, like, the old Gen 2 original games, like, I love HeartGold and SoulSilver, but it'll be a very different experience kind of going back and playing one of the really old games. I had a great time playing the original Pokemon Red on the Virtual Console, which is what I made the Let's Play of. Um, it was just so fun and so different from, like, Leaf Green, and um, and I, I'm sure it's different than Let's Go Eevee and all, too, so... I'm really glad I did that, and I uh, wouldn't mind doing a crystal one as well. All right, very tough battle. Veteran Carver has been defeated. Um, I don't know how far it is from that nurse, so let's just use... Let's just use some items. We'll start with the revives, since two of our team fainted. We'll revive Excadrill, and I'm going to move him to the back of the party too, I think. Because, uh, yeah, he's clearly a little underleveled for... Or she's clearly a little underleveled for this part. Oh, also, it has been a half an hour already. Would you look at that? Time flies when you're having fun. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to take a little break here. And I will come back, I think, to one more episode today before I do other things. So thank you guys for watching. Keep being awesome. And I'll see you again soon.